Hello, my name is Vladislav, I am service engineer at VTM Group Company. And today a machine for balancing wheel sets of the 9718K model is presented to your attention. This machine is designed to balancing wheel sets according to the following characteristics. It measures the run out of the wheel set, measures the imbalance of the wheel set, puts it into one report, and based on the results of this report, we can judge whether the wheel set is ready for operation on any type of wagon. The unbalance is measured relative to the axle box bearing journals. The run out it is also measured relative to the axle box journal but along the tread of the wheel and in the future the value of unbalance is recalculated relative to the tread of the wheel. Also, this machine has two runout sensors, one for axle runout, the second for radial. You will see this on the machine supports. The design of the machine provides two supports on which the wheel set will be placed, the headstock, and jacks for shock-free installation and removal of the wheel set from the machine will become. Also, for security purposes, protection is provided. Let's move on to the design of the machine. The machine is equipped with two supports for measuring imbalance and run out. On top of the support there is a cassette with rollers, as well as a suspension. The next element is the jack cover, the wheel set catcher. Go here. A bracket for axial and radial runout sensors is installed here. Also, this bracket can move up and down, or this part can move closer or further from the wheel set, depending on its geometric characteristics. Below the machine we see two pneumatic cylinders, these are the jacks. The support is moved using this hexagon and fixed with these bolts and two on the opposite side. The movement is due to a chain drive, that is, an asterisk is installed on the support, a chain is stretched along the entire frame. The next element of the machine is the drive headstock. It consists of a headstock housing, a pinoli and a pinoli retainer, as well as a cardan. There is a control panel on the front side of the machine. So, on the back side of the machine there is a pneumatic panel, an electric cabinet and a switch and a main switch. The main switch is designed to power on the machine, and there are also warning lamps for the drive readiness. The voltage is applied and a pressure indicator lamp. Installing the wheel set. First of all, we fasten the adapter to the wheel set, after which we install the wheel set on the jacks with a crane. After that, we connect the cardan to the wheel set using the bolts and adapters included in the kit. So, after connecting the drive, we lower the jacks down. And the wheel set is lowered onto the suspension. By the next action we fix Pinoli. And the warning lamp goes out. Go to the control panel. So, on the left side we have a computer, on the right side we have a control, that is, switch buttons and warning lights. This warning light indicates that the cardan is not connected. 
Here is the limit switch. When the cardan is not attached, it lies on this limit switch and the indicator lamp lights up. The next Pinoli spindle indicator lamp is not fixed. It is fixed with the help of this lever. The rightmost control lamp is optional, it is an option, in this case it is a protective fence. It is not installed in place, it is not closed. The next switch is the rotation of the rotor. Next, the operating mode of the suspension clamps. It can be always unfixed in automatic mode and in manual mode. The next switch is the jacks in the raised or lowered state. The next indicator lamp lights up when the speed is reached. This switch selects the operating mode, either manual or automatic. The next switch is the main one on this machine. It switches the measurement mode of the machine from the balancing mode to the run-out mode, the start, stop rotation buttons and the rotation speed controller of the wheelset. Switching the computer, we will automatically enter the program. Next, we will need to set up the machine for a wheelset. To do this, it will be necessary to be in manual measurement mode and enter the training mode, where we will indicate the weight of the wheelset from above. In the next column, we will indicate the radius of the imbalance measurement, the trial weight that we will set for training launch and the balancing tolerance in the dimension of grams per millimeter. Click here, then do 3 training launch. We check that we are in balancing mode. Press the start of rotation. We select the launch without trial weight. The rotation speed has been reached, the measurement is at zero start. Here we see magnitudes and angles. Next, we look at what is allowed to finish our training run, zero. Press stop rotation. Next, we manually set the current angle to zero degrees. There is, and we install the trial weight on the first plane vertically from above. Select the launch with the weight on the first plane, press the start of rotation. The speed has been reached. There is a measurement with a weight on the first plane. We receive permission to stop the measurement. We look at the stability of the angles of the magnitudes and stop the rotation. Next, we set our zero degrees again. And we rearrange the weight from the first to the second plane. Select with launch with a weight on the second plane and press the start of rotation. Speed achieved, the start of measurement on the second plane has begun. The results are received, press stop rotation. Now we see the results of the setup. 
it is displayed on the first plane of an imbalance of 37.2 grams at an angle of 135 degrees, and on the second plane the value of 63 grams 6 tenths, at an angle of 33 degrees. Next, we remove our trial weight from the second plane and immediately switch to the run-out measurement mode. Switch to it. In this mode, the machine's suspension clamps are fixed, run-out sensors are connected to the wheelset on the second and first supports, respectively. We have switched to the run-out measurement mode, the sensors have moved, and we press the start rotation button. Now the process of measuring the run-out is underway, the wheelset rotates slowly, And in real time, the graph is built up on all four planes measured. Here is the radial runout of the first, second planes and the axial runout of the first and second planes, respectively. In automatic mode, the occupancy rate should be 21 to 22 percent, after which a stop occurs automatically. In manual mode, you can stop at any time. That is, even if there are only two passes. Well, there are enough results, click stop measurement, get all the data, click exit. We see that they are already displayed in the main window. We can switch to the graph display mode, where it will show the resultant, imbalance and run out. The blue color indicates the vector in which the imbalance is directed. The red graph is our eccentricity, that is, our run out, and the green is the resulting graph. And the next step is to generate a report. On the report we see the number of this reference, the selected number of the wheelset, the name according to the drawing, the tolerance, the results of the imbalance and the results of the runout on each of the planes. The machine is installed on a concrete workshop floor, fastened with anchor bolts through a hole in the frame, if necessary, if there is a gap, then metal linings, plates are laid. The machine is connected to the electric pneumatic line. The pneumatic system should be at a pressure of 6 to 8 atmospheres, and main supply a three-phase network with a voltage of 380 volts. Optionally, you can have a safety guard and a sensor to it that signals the closure or opening of this fence.